like, how is that, how is that working out with the martial art community? Because in, in my experience, at least, you know, both a, as a member and as a scholar of that, there's a lot of, there's a lot of cult of personalities in, in, in our neck of the woods, meaning that a lot of people think about these, these, you know, whether it is Kano or, uh, or Weshiba or Funakoshi or one of the Gracies, you pick which one, uh, as almost sacred beings. Ah, it's just craziness. That's... I, I, I know, I know it's craziness for my part, but you see that, right? You, you see that happening, yeah, yeah. but it's particularly strong in traditional martial arts. And I would, I would uh, uh, at, at least the ones that don't compete, of course. Mm -hmm. But I feel it's strong also in, in, in functional martial arts. I feel that is, it's part of the lore maybe, but um, I feel that we tend to have, you know, martial arts tend to be cultish and they tend to, to hold on sacred figures and sacred beings. So I wonder, I wonder what you think about that. I, you know, according to your experience, I, you know, you, 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 you've ditched that <laughs> long time ago. I probably never had it, but or maybe I had it, but it's, it wasn't really, was never really particularly strong in, in, in me. Uh, what, what, what do you feel it? And how do you feel it in, in the community? Hmm. What well, you mean like in, um, like I understand what you, uh, I understand what you're saying. But like, give give me an example of like, let's say in BJJ, like, uh, are you talking about maybe Hicks and Gracie? I, I, you know, Hicks and Gracies or or any one of the Gracies. That and again, it's not a criticism to them as athletes or mm -hmm. or or teacher. Okay, I'm talking about fantastic people with a fantastic career with great technique. Mm -hmm. uh, just want to put out because I don't want to, you know, I don't want anybody to say, well, you're talking because of this and that. No, and I'm not talking, you know, bad about that. I'm saying oh, really? that they. they created a sort of like a followers in, in which there's a lot of people, they believe everything they say just because it's them saying it. And, you know, in, in BJJ, I, you know, I've, I've learned, I've, I've, I've learned of BJJ in 2006 when I was living in Nagoya. Nagoya has a very big Brazilian community. At least they had it at the time because they were working for Toyota and Lexus. There was a big immigration from Brazil. And, and so there were a lot of Brazilian jiu-jitsu places and I met people in the Brazilian jiu-jitsu community uh, and I discovered Brazilian jiu-jitsu back then. Um, I was a little, a little late in the game, okay, about that. But, uh, and I, you know, one thing that, that struck me immediately was this, this almost religious worshiping of the Gracies that they had and everything Gracie would say, it was like, like the Bible, okay? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu invented, you know, Keza uh, Gatame, it's like, no, <laughs> they didn't. It was from Kosen Judo, but they would believe that because they Gracie told you so. And, they, and they, they would eat, you know, they would follow certain eating protocols because the Gracies were doing those things in their compound. The, gra the Gracie diet, yeah, yeah. The Gracie <laughs> diet. And, and so they would do all sorts of things uh, because these people told them. Uh, they didn't tell them to do that, but because of what they wear, they were trying to mimic their lifestyle as much as possible. And they mm -hmm. would not consider anything coming out of, you know, that box as, as legitimate. And, uh, and I, I've seen that happening also. One of the criticism that I had with Rokas, and I, and I told him about that one time, we had a conversation many years ago, but you know, I did with the beginning say, well, it feels to me that you're moving from a cult to another cult because exactly, the way you're exactly. approaching, the way uh -huh. you're approaching BJJ now is the same you were approaching uh, Aikido. So you're looking at these professors and whatever they say to you, and I think it was something about fixing some Aikido technique, whatever they say to you, you're going to believe it. Uh, mm -hmm. And they say, well, I believe it because it proves right because of the competition. That's, that's, that's your justification. That's not why you believe it. Mm -hmm. believe it because now you invested in Brazilian jiu-jitsu because uh, you want to believe it and I think I think yes. as human beings we want to draw conclusions and we want to have the answer you know yes and sometimes there is you know and, and we can't we, we want something to believe in because it brings a sense of security it brings a sense of comfort you know knowing that you're doing the right thing and then of course if you invest a, if you're investing a lot of time in something then you want 
um, you know, you want, you want to be right in your, yeah. in your decision and your conclusion. So, so you, you kind of find everything uh, possible to, to agree with, you know, and, and you, you, you don't want to hear anything else, you know, no. kind of thing. And um, yeah. so I think that that's, it's, I think it's just human nature, you know, to a certain extent, it's, it's comfort, you know, like, like, mm -hmm. you know, you know, it's just like, oh, no, this is, this is it. I don't have to look for anywhere else. It's, and, and maybe, maybe a lack of, of um, uh, maybe a little bit of laziness. I don't know. Like, you know, like not wanting to explore, not wanting it to be, cause it's hard, right? Like in the sense that you, like the way I look at it is that nobody's invincible. Mm -hmm. Nobody as a human beings, we're not invincible. So if we're no, if, if no one is invincible, and I think me, me, um, Miyamoto Musashi talked about this. If no mm -hmm. man is invincible, no man can understand what can make him invincible. I'm paraphrasing here. Yeah. So nobody, no more, one man has all the answers. Mm -hmm. So why would you just believe in your sensei? He's one man. 